Well, your next night out in Cleveland Heights might look a little different in the next month. We first told you back in April that the city was looking at designated outdoor refreshment area for its Cedarley district, and now City Council has just given it the thumbs up. News 5's Elizabeth Van Mitri is following through this morning with the latest information and what it means when you get ready to hang out in that area. Hi, Elizabeth. Good morning. Yeah, okay, so imagine this. You get a babysitter. You and your partner, you guys go out on the town around here. You're going out. You go to a nice dinner somewhere. You grab a drink and then you think, hey, let's grab some dessert too, but we still have these drinks left over. Well, pretty soon that door will allow you to take that drink to other establishments with you. That's all happening right here in this section. So I, I think we have a great, great opportunity here to do something to support our businesses in that district. Um, I'm hoping that this is a great litmus test for us to see where else we can uh, do this and expand this and we can work out any kinks during that process as well. Cleveland Heights City Council members approved the Lee Road Dora during a special meeting on Monday. This is Cleveland Heights first Dora in the city. So You'll see the changes popping up over the next month, including signs going up to where you can purchase beverages, where you can drink them, and places that drinks are also not allowed. There are also going to be signs clearly labeling the area where you can have beer, wine, and liquor. The door will let you buy drinks and take them into places that don't have a liquor license and want to allow you to bring them into their business. Though you won't be able to take the drinks into other places that do, this is why everything is going to be clearly labeled for you. We spoke to Destiny Burns from Cleveland Urban Winery, who says that this is exactly what they need to get out of this post-COVID slump. This gives us another tool to be able to offer something new for our customers and for new residents here in the area to bring people um, into the district that may not otherwise come here. It's just another reason for them to come to Cedar Lee. And, um, it's going to be really important in our recovery and also in the city's growth and development economically. So you won't be able to carry the drinks just out in a regular cup. There's going to be specific door cups you'll have to use. The city also does have a public safety plan in place. They're going to be monitoring the way that all of this is going to be monitoring that everything is following regulations. This still has to be approved by the state. We'll continue to follow you through and bring you more updated information as it becomes available. If there's a story that you'd like me to follow through on, send me an email at elizabeth.vanitri at wews.com. For News 5, I'm Elizabeth Vanitri. Yeah, it's nice to see more neighborhoods catching on. Thank you, Elizabeth.